What's up everyone? I'm playing some more Mario Kart 64 as as you normally do. Today is going to be Donkey Kong Jungle Parkway. I'm going to be doing the review and the shortcut showcase. You guys probably already know the Donkey Kong Jungle Parkway shortcut, but for those of you who don't, I'm going to be picking Toad because I'm still pretty bad at this shortcut. Like, That's what you want to do. So you want to set it up like this, then you're going to want to turn around, you got to drive to like about here, okay I drove a bit too far forward, and then you want to aim for the, where the cave opens up, and I screwed it up, but like, you, you'll know you did most of the legwork when you go in through the cave. So, like, if I go through the cave, like, right here. If you go through the cave like that, then you'll know you've done most of the legwork. And then, you have to respawn where I respawn, otherwise the lap won't count. You'll either... If you don't respawn where I respawn, you probably either didn't go far enough out, or you went too far forward. If you go too far forward, you'll respawn, like, past the line. And if you didn't go far enough out, you'll respawn right in front of the, uh, finish line. And you don't want to respawn right there, because the lap won't count. So, like, I'll showcase just the lap in general. Now, you'll respawn, like, around here if you go too far forward. You don't want to do that. So, but this is the course normally. There's, like, a bridge. The bridge is important later. I'm and then you take this cannon like that. You can like shave a bit of time off like that. If you don't want to do a shortcut. Shortcut is very good. And there are these rocks that show up if you uh go off road for too long. If you get hit by a rock then you can't save the ghost data, so keep that in mind. You already saw when you're in the cave, you could mushroom boost up the side. This is a bridge. It's a good spot for placing, like, fake item boxes and banana peels. You go up like that, and then that's lap two. And I'm just going to do final lap normally, just to, like, showcase how much faster the uh, shortcut saves compared to normal lap. Second lap was just me going through the stage, like showcasing all the important parts there's also a boat the boat doesn't really do much but like it can get in your way I'm pretty sure and you don't want to swim in the water because this ain't Mario Kart 7 you can't go swimming yet alright get some mini turbos but this is probably my favorite course in the game not just because it's named after Donkey Kong but like it's just a fun course it was remade in Mario Kart Wii, and it was pretty good there, too. It was overall not a bad iteration of Donkey Kong Jungle Parkway. And you just kind of boost up the side of the cave. Come on. Alright. I guess I'm not going to boost up the side of the cave. Let's go around like an absolute pleb. That wasn't really a very good time, but I was also, like, explaining everything. Like, you could do it in, like, around, like, 31 seconds. Like, I did get a 27-second lap before. Um, I've done the shortcut multiple times, as you can see in that. And, um, I also want to say, um, in Frappe Snowland, I figured out how to get a lap in, like, under 10 seconds, so that was pretty cool. Like, I'll show that off. Like, see, 9.27. Up next is going to be Yoshi Valley, and I don't believe that that course has any shortcuts, but there are multiple routes that get a bit confusing, so I'll talk about those a bit. Um, Banshee Boardwalk also doesn't have any shortcuts, so when I get to there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be anything. And Rainbow Road has the shortcut that everyone knows. Bowser's Castle doesn't have anything either. I'll save Bowser's Castle for last, because that's probably the hardest course in the game. 
and I'll see you guys next time.